In 289 BC, a group of Italian mercenaries known as Mamertines, previously hired by Syracuse, occupied the city of Messina. Hard pressed by Syracuse, the Mamertines appealed to both Rome and Carthage for assistance in 265 BC. The Carthaginians acted first, convincing the Mamertines to accept a Carthaginian garrison. A year later in 264 BC, Romans also landed in Sicily to assist the Mamertines. The Mamertines, in response, trying to avoid conflict, had expelled the Carthaginian garrison. In response, the Carthaginians in Syracuse began a siege of the city and its Roman garrison, starting the First Punic War. But by 263 BC, both Roman consuls were sent to Sicily with a force of 40,000. They would march on Syracuse and besiege it, and with no Carthaginian assistance anticipated, Syracuse made a peace with the Romans and allied against Carthage. From there, the Romans marched on Acragas in 262 BC and besieged it. Meanwhile, Carthage recruited an army in Africa, which was shipped to Sicily and fought the Romans in spring 261 BC. The Carthaginians were defeated with heavy losses at the Battle of Acragentum. That night, the Carthaginian garrison surrendered the city. After this success, the Romans captured several interior towns, and a portion of their army was defeated by Hamilcar in 259 BC, who went on to launch a counterattack, retaking Enna and Camarina, threatening Syracuse. The following year, the Romans retook Enna and captured Menestraton. In 258 BC, they also recaptured Camarina after a lengthy siege. After this, the war in Sicily reached a stalemate. The focus of the war shifted to the sea. The Romans built 120 warships and dispatched them to Sicily in 260 BC, where a portion of the Roman fleet was defeated near the Aeolian Islands. Later, the two main fleets met off the coast of Mylae, where the Romans won a decisive naval victory, crushing the Carthaginians. The Romans then attempted to take control of Sardinia and Corsica in 259 BC. Part of the Roman fleet captured Alaria, then sailed to attack Olbia on Sardinia, but was defeated. They would also lose Alaria, ending the campaign in Corsica and Sardinia. Rome's naval victories at sea and their frustration at the stalemate in Sicily led them to develop a plan to invade the Carthaginian heartland in North Africa and threaten the capital city of Carthage. The Carthaginians knew of the Romans' intentions and mustered all their ships to intercept them. The ensuing Battle of Cape Economis was possibly the largest naval battle in history by the number of combatants involved, with a combined total of 680 warships carrying up to 290,000 crews and marines. After a day of prolonged and confused fighting, the Carthaginians were defeated. Following the battle in 256 BC, the Romans landed and captured Apicis, and also won a subsequent victory at Attis. Marching west, they besieged and captured Tunis, where in 255 BC, they were defeated by the Carthaginians and forced to retreat and withdraw from Apicis. Though the Roman fleet was devastated by a storm while returning to Italy. Having lost most of their fleet in the storm of 255 BC, the Romans rapidly rebuilt it. Meanwhile, the Romans launched a determined offensive in Sicily. Their entire fleet attacked Panormus early in the year, capturing it. Much of the western inland Sicily all came to terms with the Romans. In 253 BC, the Romans carried out several raids in Africa, but lost most of their fleet to another storm which they would rebuild in the subsequent year. The next year, the Romans shifted their attention to northwest Sicily. The Romans seized and burned the Carthaginian holdout cities of Salinas and Heraclea Minor. They then sent a naval expedition towards Lilibium, but failed to take the city. In the late summer of 251 BC, the Carthaginians advanced on Panormus and were subsequently defeated by a Roman army. Encouraged by their victory, 
the Romans moved against the main Carthaginian base at Lilibium in 249 BC. While trying to move, the Roman navy was decisively crushed at the battles of Drapon and Phintias, which would destroy most of the Roman fleet. By 248 BC, the Carthaginians held only two cities on Sicily, Lilibium and Drapan. These were well fortified and situated on the western coast, where they could be supplied and reinforced without the Romans being able to use their superior army to interfere. In late 243 BC, realizing they would not capture Drapan and Lilibium unless they could extend their blockade to the sea, the Senate decided to build a new fleet. The Carthaginians raised a larger fleet, which they intended to use to run supplies into Sicily. It was subsequently intercepted by the Roman fleet, and in the hard-fought battle of the Aegetes Islands, the Romans defeated the undermanned Carthaginian fleet. The Carthaginian Senate, not wanting to allocate the resources necessary to have another fleet built and manned, instead ordered Hamilcar to negotiate a peace treaty with the Romans. The Treaty of Lydadius was signed and brought the First Punic War to its end. Carthage evacuated Sicily, handing over all prisoners and paid an indemnity of 3,200 talents over 10 years. Thank you everybody for watching. Please leave a comment letting me know your thoughts and consider liking and subscribing as it truly helps me make a better video for everybody. And as always, thank you for watching The Knowledge Show.